Hello, and welcome to a rather special episode of Jog Plays Minecraft. And the particular specialty of this episode is I'm going to do a world tour. It's been a while. It's been 320 episodes. In fact, this is the 320th episode. And people have requested that I do a bit of a world tour, so I thought I'd do that right now. It's been almost two years since creating this world. Oops. And there have been, obviously, a significant number of changes, as evidenced by this very slowly rendering map here. Hmm. Indeed. Now, I'm in creative. I've emptied my inventory of all tat, so that I don't collect any old garbage as I wander around here. And since I'm in creative, I can fly and I can show you what's going on. So, I believe the original spawn point was over there somewhere. Uh, because I remember falling in pits and finding spider dungeons and all sorts of good stuff. I found my first golden apple ever in the game, in a dungeon. I built this little house. It was extended by playing uh, in a previous episode. What was that? Episode 30-something, 40-something, who knows. And um, I recently extended it, relatively recently anyway, I don't know, 80 episodes ago probably, with this extra business here. Uh, there's extra storage upstairs, woohoo, indeed, and of course there's this extra business here now. This is where I'm getting the saddles, why not? Uh, yes, automatic chicken business there, and, ooh, TNT. Uh, these are the challenges that I've done. There was a collect all the ores and collect all the wool and dyes and dyes, so the bits and bobs and bobs and bits and bobs. Um, originally there was no chance of silk touch, so I made these blocks using a very, very expensive recipe that involved all sorts of things, like diamond blocks and goodness knows what. There was a challenge to cook, I don't know, a thousand chickens, something crazy. Same with golden apples, hundred golden apples, and a uh, hundred apples before that. So all these are challenges I have done. Indeed. Now. How safe is it out here? Well, since I'm in creative, very safe. In episode 100, um, well, up until 100, I was building the walls of Penguinia, as you can see here. Um, and very simple, relatively speaking, but it took forever because of the mining of the stone and all that business. All of the stone came from uh, this thing, the mine, which is fair enough. Oh, that is a sign. Moo. Indeed. Um, yes, I don't understand that. Uh, so it came from this mine, and this was the site of my first death. There was right there. Oh gosh, don't flail, James. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. There's uh, zombies in there, which they seem very, very noisy today. But there was this business. Spiders. Evil spiders. It was always spiders in this world that just destroyed me every single time. Um... So yes, spiders, and I died, and there was much hilarity, and I was very annoyed. Um, this, of course, goes all the way to bedrock, as do all of my random pits that I dig. Ooh, hello. I see light at the end of that tunnel. Um, this was just in the... Uh, ooh. This is just in the first few esipodes, trying to get as much sown as possible. I believe that is the ravine in which 8-Bit Duke died repeatedly in the 100th episode, which was a very special episode for us. The 100th episode whee, was where we opened up the server to all sorts of people who wanted to uh, come and build and do such crazy things as I have done. Um, on oh, hello. You are zombies up there. I should probably sleep so we can see, but it looks quite nice at night time, so I'm not going to. Oh, goodness. Hello in there. Look at them all. Hey, guys. Jump to. Well, I suppose there's no harm. Boof! Come on down, guys. Anyway, Zombinator, because there's a zombie spawner, of course, down there. In the oh, got to get away from the noisy zombies. Um, in the mines. And... Um, is that all of them? I think that's all of them. Yes, right. Yes, yes. Groan, groan, groan. Now, there's a Zombinator there. Um, the storage room. The storage room started relatively early on. I did a second layer. All the signs became these item frames relatively recently when they came out. Um, which was jolly good news. There used to be a rail going from the house up and out from the roof and across to here which was built by a, a previous guest, Cam Burns, 
And... Does he still have a chest? Yes, he does. Boom! What have you got in there? I'm rummaging! Oh, that's right. He had a weird bug where he couldn't select anything in the top row of his chest. Very, very strange. Um, don't understand what that was. Uh, so yeah, he got that. Oh, there's a... Get, get in, get in! Uh, there's this rail business, which was built by 8-Bit Duke, to get between the various... Oh, interesting. Boop! Oh, well, oh, well, there goes that minecart, I guess. Uh, which goes between the storage room and the... Uh, there's an extra outpost out that way. And the house, the main house, up here, with the ancient tunnels of Pinguinia. This is what I dug the very first few esopodes. Just trying to go down here. There was that... Um, the glitchy slime was here and wouldn't let me kill it. I remember that. That was good times. Oh, goodness. This is... A little bit dark. Well, I guess it isn't really, is it? Look at it. Look at all the light. Um, but, oh, I hear blooping lava. That's never good news. Um, I think this just wraps around. Yes. Oh, that's right. Didn't I explore some of this with Chocolate Gal? I think I did. And with Nile, maybe? Whee! Bonk. Uh, which was crazy. Look at that coal! Coal! That I had never picked up. And redstone, more redstone, and bloopy lava. Um, indeed. Uh, right, how do I now get out of here? That's a very good question. Um, I don't know if I do get out of here. Oh, goodness. Why do I always get lost in these places? Uh, is that an out? No. Oh, I may have to see you on the surface. Maybe it's down here. Ah, yes, here we go. This looks, This looks significant, does it? Uh, oh, gosh, well, hello. Uh, well, this looks like an out. And it isn't. See you on the surface. In fact, let's just go there. Boop! Lovely. Right, so that's all be below here. I've added a few extra commands. Oh, it's night time still. Uh, a few extra commands and so on, just so that we can get around and see stuff. Morning! Right, now. Uh, so that was my house. Now, the second house to be built was... This one? No. Yes. No, that was on the 100th episode. I think it was this one, possibly. Which is uh, Taylor Saws Jr.'s house. Don't mind me, I'm just rummaging. Uh, and they appear to have a gazillion chests full of goodness knows what. And a pumpkin, indeed. Uh, I remember collecting pumpkins. It took, what, a huge journey out to that direction. Um, so yes, that was the second house to be built. Uh, this is the Fountain of Fantastic, which I dedicated to 8-Bit Dame. And she eventually graced us with a, with a visit. Episode 95 was that, I think. Um, and there were bloopers and all sorts where she stood up here. That's 8-Bit Dame's house. And um, I think I built those, that one and that one, uh, in Essipodes. Uh, this is... An unfinished house still from episode 100, mm. um, which is not good. Why is it not finished? Come on, come and finish it. It was uh, Lillian's house, uh, as opposed to his house over here but on the wall, which was simply this block. Hmm, indeed. Anyway, uh, the board of challenge, we've got um, various houses over this way. Um, there is Niall's house, and what's what's going on here? Oh, this is this read the best. That's right. Hello! Don't mind me. Um, there are all sorts of things up here. Goodness. And things down there as well, apparently. Hmm. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Uh, I. What? That's a little confusing. Anyway, uh, so yes. Uh, mm. So yes, there are buildings here. Uh, oh yes, hello, Moo. Um, much of this was built during the 100th episode, which is where we open the server to various other people. And there's a whole two-hour episode or something. I recorded six hours of stuff that day. Uh, there's the rainbow. Rainbow was built by 8-Bit Dame. She's an arty type, so... Well, rainbow is, is good. Of course, now the game has got, I don't know, what... Um, stained glass and pff, all sorts of other things. <gasps> Clouds. We could build clouds under it, and you could see through them. That would be amazing. Um, one of these dirt blocks was... Oh, goodness. Um, was put here by a visitor. 
and then people suggested things that I should add to the dirt block. So it has wheat and a friend called Bob, apparently, um, which is very interesting. In fact, I think this one is the original um, one, and this was added afterwards. Who knows? Cactus farm, there's all sorts of animal type farm arrangements here. Hello, and a pig with a saddle, but of course, and a bajillion eggs in here. Um, well, hello, don't mind me. Uh, goodness, how many stacks? Anyway, uh, so yes, chickens, always good. It took ages to find a, a sheep originally. I think a whole essipo just bringing one sheep back, which is, uh, which is fun, indeed. Uh, so there's this. Then over here, well, we've got all this village stuff, which is uh, relatively new. Got all the village in here with uh, villages, which I purified using this zombie spawner d that we found when we were laying out the walls. Disillo found that, I believe. Um, and, oh, hello. And so I've been purifying the villages, and there they are. Goodness, craziness. Um, and they asked me to build village out here for them, which I've done. They have not lived in it yet. They haven't moved in. I'm really rather proud of this building, though. I like the way this turned out. It's relatively simple, but um, but I'm, I'm quite pleased with how that turned out, just by slapping blocks down at random. Anyway, so out here, more village. There's the uh, house, the donation house for Aaron. And, whoa, tall man, hello. Um, he wanted a beach house, so I made one. And over there, there's some random pyramid. Just over here, uh, what I used to think was miles away, just here, is Outpost Alpha. And there's now a rail, of course, between the place. Down there, boop, which connects to the one I showed earlier. Outpost, oh, sorry, beta this is. Uh, hello. Um, and so just things and stuff, emergency beds and whatnot. Uh, that must mean... Outpost Alpha, I think, was all the way out there somewhere um, in the snow. That was when I was looking for the mushrooms originally, I think. I think that's what I was looking for. Um, which is all the way out there. Uh, if I remember, I'll, I'll um, go back and, and show you that. There is a rail coming from Penguinia. Hello. Uh, all the way out to um, the end portal. The end portal is all the way over here. And it's actually not that far, and it's literally a straight line from there. Um, I was really quite pleased that I managed to find this. And what? Caves below. Yes, okay, good. Um, <laughs> fair enough. So out this way, if I can even get there, it's not that much further, uh, is the end portal with the... What do you call it? Uh, the big dig, that's right. I dug a massive pit, and it took forever, but that's fine because uh, I like doing such things. So I completely hollowed out the the area here. Get down! Oh, close! There we are. Boop. Um, and I filled it with chickens. Uh, there are not that many chickens remaining. Hello down there. It's a mine shaft down there, and looks like someone's spammed down a bit of of uh, bone meal, but that's fine. Here's the end portal itself. Uh, obviously, there was a um, stronghold components all around here. Uh, in fact, I think this still goes through to yes, some of the uh, the stronghold stuff. I think we explored all of this. Uh, there can't possibly be much of it left, if if any. Uh, let's get out again. Uh, where's the out? This way. Yes. Um, so that existed. That gave me a tons and tons of what is this? Dark Bladian Railway. Okay, that's a bit of a cheek. Uh, goodness, three minutes. Well, I'm not going to take your railway, sir. Um, but yes, this gave us tons and tons of um, of stone and of um, resources, actually. These pits go all the way to bedrock. I was just digging down to get a few more diamonds. Um, I believe when I went to the end, I died in, what, 13 minutes? Wow, must be a record. Um and these were all filled with, well, still are actually, with uh, some mossy bricks, loads of cobble, more cobble, a ton of doors, of course, because that's uh, that's what these places are filled with. Oh, come on, I can get up these stairs. There we are. So, yes, so there's this end business. I don't think anyone's ever built anything actually in the end. Although I might do that in a future essipode. Oh, a little farm. I remember that, just to keep me 
in food. Over here is where my sister built a, a dirt shack to hide from evil. And there it is. What do you think of that, people? It's outstanding, isn't it? Never mind the gravel. Uh, yes. And, uh, oh, a bit of a dig down, evidently. Hello. Ooh, things. Raw chicken in there. Uh, yes, just exploring. Uh, so yes, there's that. Up and out. Up and out. Come on. Right. Um, there are more outposts. If I just return to spawn. Hello. And go in this direction. Uh, if you remember, I travelled all the way, all the way around in various different directions to find wolves and a village. And turned out there was a village just over this way somewhere. And there were wolves just beyond it, which was great. Um, but yes, there's an outpost out here. Outpost Gamma, I think. And someone built a windmill. Yes, there's my outpost and there's the windmill. Someone built a windmill to go with it, which is marvellous. SKW771. Marvellous. Everyone needs power production here. And an outpost. I can't remember what, which one this was. Gamma. Hello. Oh yes, melons. I remember those. And things. There's some diamonds in there. Ooh. Uh, and there's this. Just goes down, I believe. Uh, that's right. Yes, unfinished. I don't know quite where I was going with that. But uh, yes, there's that. I think this is going to be storage before I eventually moved on to the end portal place. Yes. In fact, now you can put chests next to each other with um, oh, ooh, with locked chests and so on. Gosh, how the game has changed. Why am I stuck? Why am I stuck? Get up there. Thank you. Boop. Um, and I guess another layer for sleeping quarters. Who knows? Make a hotel out of it. Oh, it's getting dark again. Uh, so yes, there's another outpost. There's another outpost... Uh, around the back part of Penguinia, if I just return here. Can I sleep yet? No, I can only sleep at night. Well, fair enough. Um, I guess that's fine. There's another outpost this way, because eventually I was given a task, and that task was... Uh, can I close this? Yes, I can. And that task was to survive the mystical lands in the sky, and... I can just find a bed. That's what I'm looking for now. Um, and I did. I survived. Well, I died a few times, actually. But that's fine. Uh, I can't seem to find a bed anywhere, so I'll just have to travel. So the mystical lands in the sky are located out this way. Now, this is quite a trek, so I will see you when I get to the end of this rail. So here we are, arriving at the farms at the other end of the rail. That crazy long rail. There's pigs. Hello, piggies. I don't know why those four torches are there. Um, cows, randomly. Wheat and a bed, of course, and sheep and delicious, delicious chickens. Hello, chickens. Oh, you have not grown up. How long have you been a baby? Mm-hmm, Peter Pan. Um, so yes, so there's this. Um, there was evil down here, I believe, and I explored some of this. Uh, just found a little cave here, and there's a ravine somewhere that... Because um, I saw evil bobbing up from underneath this, the water there. It was very evil. In fact, was it underneath these? slabs. It might very well have been. Anyway, uh, there's a bridge leads to the last bit of this. There's an outpost here. Uh, all of this was exploded fairly recently when people um, were coming on and exploring a little bit, so fear not the uh, random damage there. Uh, everything else is fine. So yes, here's... Oh, Ben's naturally. There's a mine there. Uh, this mine was where I discovered... Oh gosh, I'm glitched in the side of that. I discovered that you could put torches on glass, which is uh, so a relatively new feature at the time. And uh, I was very pleased with that. There was a sheep. Hello. You're a sheep. Oh dear. I'm glitching out on the side there. Um, all right. We have a... Get in. We've got an outpost. This is Outpost Delta. So uh, that's uh, good. Got some goodies in here. Well, diamonds in there. It's not bad. Dirt and such things and 
loads of redstone. I was carting back ooh, a ton of stuff from the mystical lands in the sky. It's, uh, I wonder if this was wool. There it is. Look at all that. Uh, yes, but the actual mystical lands are over this way somewhere. There are a couple of bridges. There's a swamp over there. Uh, that's outpost Delta. This will be outpost Epsilon over here somewhere. Um, is that another Ben? Hello, Ben. There are lots of Bens around here and a cow, which is very nice. Uh, another wheat farm, of course, and outpost Epsilon, hello, um, which I was, I built, not knowing how far away anything was, and I think this one's pretty organised, actually. There's the food, look at the fish, um, woof, indeed. Um, there's a bridge that leads across here, and the chunks usually reload around here somewhere. Another bridge. And then we come to the village, and I was directed to the, to look across the swamp or something. I can't remember what the clue was. Um, seek the swamp? I can't remember. So I found this with all the villagers, and this. And clearly this was not a natural thing to be finding. And so it's the starting point for an adventure that we went on. So... There's wheat and various other bits and bobs. Oh, yes. Um, and goodness. Oh, yes, this was some remaining goodies from the Mystical Lands in the Sky. Look at all these chiseled stone bricks. That's insane. Um, that's craziness. Um, I should probably take those back to uh, Benguinia. But uh, not immediately. Goodness. And more, more goodies from the Mystical Lands. So uh, I didn't really know what was involved, so I was... Uh, Quite worried about this. I thought it might be spawners and various other bits and bobs and things and stuff. And who left the door open? God. So, oh gosh, come on, fly. There we go. Uh, so we get up here, and there was this instruction, which is number one. Well, possibility one, jump and die. Possibility two, jump and live. And so you think, well, should I? Should I not? Wee thud. And I'm going to be. Uh, put into non-creative, so I'm just get back into it. There we are. And, of course, it's night time. I thought, at the time, it hadn't done anything, because this is a complete copy. Well, it was, until I added this farm. Complete copy of that red tower. Um, but we are in a totally different land now. If I just go out here... Um, oh, come on. Let's see, we're in a snow biome. And we are in Skylands, or a Skylands... Uh, the plugin for this is called Skylands Plus, and it's very, very good. Hello, you. Um, right, and lots of people built here. Um, that's, so that's the starting location between them. Then we have, uh, oh gosh, Mr. Paul MC's house. Hello. Um, oh, he's got things What's in here, stuff. And I believe there's crazy beds up here. Yep. Sleeping quarters. So yes, so he built here. Uh, the point of this was to go on an adventure to find things. Um, that's what that path is for, for instance. Um, in fact, if I head out this way, there is a the first path to a tower that we found. Um, it, that's if I can remember quite where it was. I think just follow the torches, basically. Um, pumpkins. Um, so, yes, the Skylands... Oh, aha! A hey, dirt shack. Lovely. Um, Skylands have all the biomes and so on that uh, spawn naturally in the world. But uh, a friend of mine added these towers. I'm not finding a tower this way. I... Pff, pretty useless. Ah, oh, here we go. I see a path down there. Just went the wrong way. Good. Good. Well done. Um, so, there's a house here. Staging post between them. And this thing... Oh, oh gosh. Which takes us to the Sky Nether. We didn't do much here. I don't even know if there's treasure or, or what there might be here. Um, because this place scares me. I'm going back! Go back! There we go. Hello. Um, yes, so this is... Oh, gosh, I'm not in the right thing there. Gosh, whoo. Um, so, yes, this has a house down there, apparently. So this has... There we go. There's uh, many towers. One tower for each of the colours of wool, and the red one was totally safe, I think, uh, but some of the others 
were not totally safe. They had spawners and various other bits and bobs, but they also had treasure in uh, here upstairs. They don't all have the the jumping thing, the portals. Uh, I've obviously emptied this, I guess. Yes, because I collected as much of the treasure as I could. And it had this, which I never made any sense of this. Um, but when I get through the desert one, I found... Um, like these clues actually took us somewhere, so I might have to come back and do that. But the different towers had different challenges. There were ghast spawners, there was all sorts of evil. There was the, the lime tower in particular, which was full of evil, um, which was not good at all. Um, all right, let's just go back to uh, back to the mainland. So there was that, um, and the next one, if I just go back where? Back here. Uh, someone gave me the clue. Um, they, uh, a friend of mine set up the same basic puzzle, um, or the idea of the same basic puzzle, which uh, they gave us a clue which was to go out to specific coordinates which were out in the sea this way somewhere. Um, and that would take us to another mystical land. Now I'm going to go and get there, and then I will return. Right, so I've made it out to where uh, the coordinates said to go, where the clue said to go. And you can see down here, there is a little bit of light and one of these things. And I'm going down there. Boop! Whee! I added the ladders because there weren't any. And it took... Great. And it took us down here and there was this coal uh, that I'd never collected. And down here, there's a whole abandoned mine shaft, much of which I have not explored, as we can clearly see from this. Um, although some of it I did, I think fairly recently as well, just to collect some coal and whatnot. But yes, the clue said to come to this location, and I saw this business, and it said to drop off all the stuff. That's what I did in this. Obviously there was tools and so on, and many. And, um, these were from the mystical lands, but not the mystical lands in the sky. Let's, uh, oh, I can't sleep. But they were mystical lands right here. Oh gosh, I need to get back into creative. And it's getting to be daytime. Good. And I spawned here, and I knew what I was in for, because this is a primordial desert map. And um, they spawn with endless sand dunes like this. Well, not endless, because right there is a wall. Snow. Uh, but never mind that. And with these volcano mountain type arrangements, which are amazing, the generation of this land is fantastic. And then down in these things, you've got sort of, well, let's just go in here. You've got sort of um, things to explore. And there's like tunnels of evil and interconnecting treasure ta um, rooms and, and animals, as we have here, which is nice. I think I fell in this one, and the sand is, uh, well, maybe I got out through that. I can't remember. Hmm, can't remember now. But yes, yeah, so I found this. It was already getting night time, I think, and I, um, I headed over here, and there was this tower already existent. Obviously, uh, the trees have been significantly chopped down and changed since then. Uh, this part wasn't here. I added that fairly recently. Uh, none of this was here, and the red tower had, I think I had the farm, there was a list of to-do, um, and none of the chests were here. There was evil in here, which was not good. Um, I was hoping that there would be a, a, a jumpy thing to get back, but there isn't. So I was stuck here, stuck here forever. Well, not forever, obviously. For a while, until I'd solved the puzzle, because there are clues again. And, for instance, if I just go up here... Um, there was treasure, as you can see, uh, like this, uh, dirt and bones and a piece of grass, because dirt is oh, at a premium here because there are so few little oases like this. Um, now, oh, the reason I came up here was there was also these clues. So, number one, red, which is the red tower, uh, tower number one, there's a certain order to them. Then there was this which uh, I took eventually to mean as starting coordinates. Um, and then there's this, times four. So we take this and do that with it. 
um, and so on. And so they each had sort of a, a color and they had a, a number and different treasure of course I'm stuck aren't I yes well done uh, now I eventually started building these paths I didn't finish them um, can I get to yes here we are um, when I was traveling in a random direction I heard things under the floor and these primordial deserts don't normally have dungeons and this one did there was a skeleton dungeon I believe down there and yes there we go and it gave me as you can see bones and arrows and so on um, and bows of course uh, which was extremely useful because uh, chickens few and far between because these oases are so far few and far between but yes yeah, so uh, so dungeons not sure if they spawn naturally that's the first one i'd ever found the only one i th think i found in here um the i flattened this entire <laughs> mountain range here as you can see this one was full of uh, coal and uh, lava. I got rid of all the lava. It took forever. Wee thud. Um, I don't think I ever explored. Ah, here we go. For instance, there's a thing of evil down here, which connects to various other rooms and so on, which is very interesting because that's uh, where the lava would be. Uh, that's where I got out, right there. Um, so yes, uh, this leads to other towers once I'd eventually found them. The map does have limits. This map is... 4,000 by 4,000, something like that. I didn't finish these signs, but that's the blue tower that way. can't remember what tower's this way, some crazy ones. Uh, but they're all different, and they are all all had evil of their own. And I collected the treasure, and I eventually found that there was a set of coordinates I had to get to to escape this place. I'm going to have to look those up. Or, right here, is where I did the maths in the final episode of this particular um, this map. Um, that we did. So this this was the original set of coordinates. Here are yes. So I put them in order. So red times four gives us this, and then the blue one was t uh, tower two, three, four, and so on. And eventually we ended up with this, uh, which is the final final coordinates. So if I actually go directly there, TP. How do you do this? Number and then height and then. Where we want to go, we splat. Yes. Oh well. Okay, it was a bit exact there. Uh, so yes, I brought stuff out. Look at this. Stuff is still cooking. Wow. Um, so oh, that's right. I wasn't sure what I'd found. Um, I thought it might be just treasure or, or something, but eventually it turned out to be, well, both a trap and the the way home. It's very far down, mind. Uh, originally the ladders were not here, and I just plopped into the water down there, which was interesting. Um, there was a bit of a trap here. Hello. Um, all the torches I placed. The, oh, gosh. The um, lava was here already. It's very nicely done, I think. This has all exploded. Um, there was, like, tons of TNT under there. And... Uh, a creeper set it off. There was a chest of goodies here, which uh, didn't get exploded. Oh, well, I'm down here now. Look at this. Some stuff left over. Um, oh, and it just the rest of it just despawned. Um, so, um, there was this, and this is the portal back. Whee! And we end up back here. Do I think it's marvellous? Can I sleep? No, can I only sleep at night? Well, who knew? I'm going to put those in there. Why not? Indeed. Uh, so there was that. Uh, and most of the treasure I took back with me. Not all of it. There were a couple of bits and, and pieces still out there. So there was that. Let's go back to spawn. Whee. Um, and what else is there? Well, there's all sorts of other bits and pieces of other people's buildings. Can I sleep? Yes. Morning! Um, there's other people's buildings. Oh, wait, let's get into creative. There we go. Uh, other people's buildings. So um, there's all this stuff, of course. This is uh, various different people's builds. Um, there's the Mad Mackerel's Manor House out there, which is unfinished. Um, then I've got... Uh, th there's, um, there's a massive ship out that way somewhere. I don't know how far away that is. You can see it on the overviewer map. Not overviewer. Um... Dine map is, is what it's called. Talking of which, you can view the map for yourself 
uh, online by going to the IP address that is currently displayed. Well, not IP address. I'll probably tiny URL it so you can find it easier. Uh, and you can use that to, to have a view of the different maps that are on this server at this time. And it shows the players when they're online and where they are. And you can dynamically see what's going on. Dine map. After all, the name says it all. Um, the Oh, yes, over here... Over here, we have Nihai's house, I believe. And boop, let me in. Boop. Uh, yes, and it's a lovely place up here. Oh, very well designed inside, I think. I like these ladders. Very, very nice. Um, balcony, and uh, you can see all the evil around. It's a very nice place to build. This was the Mountain of Amazing, I believe, which uh, I passed in one of my early attempts to find the mushrooms, which were mileage in that direction. Um, talking of, on the on the Dine map, you can see there's a big circle, which is the border of this world, and then just outside of it, on the on the right, there's this strange path leading off to the side uh, in a big sort of square packed into the world eventually. That's the path I originally took to find the mushrooms before I even had the map on, or, and before I even had the border on the world, so that explains that. Um, okay, what else is there? Well, there's the house out by the desert, um, which is mileage in this direction, I believe. Uh, Creepnia is also in this direction, which is another little town built by Sved the Best and his companions of Creepiness. Um, which I don't know quite how far it is this way, but you can see it on the map. I haven't put any waypoints or whatever on the map to show where things are, but you can zoom and have a look around and see what's what and where's where. The Skylands map is fully explored on there. The uh, Sandlands map is also fully explored, and you can view that on the map. And you can see where all the towers are and the paths and, and whatnot. Good grief! What's going on here? Why do they always face this way? Hello, lads. You need to eat. Um... Indeed. Um, that's Oh, that is the ravine that Frilock and I explored on a, a two-episode thing that we did. Um, I, this might actually be leading down into it, I assume. Um, is that right? Yes. Gosh, this is... Oh, redstone. Um, maybe this is not. Maybe this was just a random dig down. I... Whoa! I don't know. Um, but yes, we explored it. And it was fun. Fun and good times, in fact. Oh, let me out. Where's the out? Here we go. Um, yes, that was uh, when ravines and so on were, were a new thing. New thing. Look at all the torches. That's insane. Um, yes, so this way is Creepnia, I believe. Just past a... Um, a what do you call that? Chunk error. Where... Because originally this was a 1.0 land. There it is, yes. Um, 1.0 world. And um, I just up upgraded every time. Upgraded. So there are some chunks like this that uh, completely change between 1.0 and 1.12. So there's a, a few of these, but not many. Not many at all. And the creepers chose to build right here. Right next to it. Whee! Oh, which I think is marvellous. Oh, they seem to be building. Sped the brave. Where's the rest of your house, sir? And sweat the best. And the wizard Jarquin. Hello! Indeed, miracles performed. Very cheap. Uh, do I have a glod block there? Goodness, I do. Crazy town. Um, what's this say? Free. Marvellous. Uh, anyway, so Creepnia. Little, little tiny town. I like this sort of... This business going on here. I like that. Um, oh, they've got a... Zombie spawner, it seems, or spawner of some kind. Hello? I don't hear any groaning. Um, oh, but I do have random zombie flesh now. Good, good. Uh, let's just plonk those down again. Boop! And boop. Oh, uh, I forgot how creative works. Get rid of those things. Don't want them. Uh, so yes, there's that. This is a random derp pole. I don't know what this is doing here, but there it is. Pumpkins! Automated, I assume. I think maybe not, though. Maybe it's going to be automated. 
future plans perhaps. So yes, that's uh, the basics of what we've got in this world and what other people have got and done and stuff. Um, there are other things that I haven't had time to show, but there's all sorts of exploration you can do on the map on online. If I can get the words out, that would be good. Ooh, what's in here? Nothing. Ooh, darkness. Hello. Ooh, I'm not going in there, uh, even in creative. Uh, so yes, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this, um, and if you wish to donate to me to keep me in food and housing and such things, then feel free to do so using the link in the video description or indeed on my channel page. If you're not subscribed, why not subscribe? Subscribe for this flower, otherwise I'll kill it. Indeed! And if you like this video, why not like this video? Goodbye. Moo!